Hello everybody and welcome to something entirely different other than that one half stream where Survivor wasn't working. Which I, I'm pretty sure was on a Sunday too, so it was last Sunday. Uh, so you remember this tier list, if you saw it before. Uh, I'm going to finish it today. We've got Cake Master in house, we're going to talk about the games we've played. And it's going to be fun, we're going to have a good time. If you're watching this VOD on YouTube, thank you for clicking on the video, I hope you enjoyed. If you do, like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a follow over here on Twitch. We're still here for now, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're going to start today's stream by getting Cake Master caught up on the list so far. So we'll start down in C. So obviously you didn't play Stories of Leah. Stick fight the game. <laughs> wow. Where would you put it? Uh, last place A. Bottom of A. So the reason why I put it in C is while it is fun to play with your friends, it loses its fun. After a while. After about an hour. Which is why we only play it about once a year. That's why I put it in C. I, I had a feeling you'd put it higher because you rock at the game. <laughs> well, that's why I go a little more a little more fun. It's pretty much the best I've ever seen you at any game with stick fight the game. I think. From what I've seen. I haven't played a ton of different games with you. So we'll drop it up into middle of B. Yeah, if we halfway in the <laughs> See so you didn't play the Darkwing Duck or He Needs His Medicine or Tailspin. Six seasons of game. You remember that one? The community D. paintball game? D! Why, why in D? Because <laughs> Nick was good. I sucked at that game. Everyone <laughs> else was better than me. I, I loved so. you and me having the shootout at the. Um... We were rivals. Yeah, it was just you and me. And they were running around doing whatever they wanted. It was just you and me. No, it's fine there where you put it. <laughs> I guess. No replay value. It needed updates and it never got any. Uh, Gmod, guess who? I wish we played more of it. We only did it once. Did we really play it once? Yeah, just the one time. I really like it. Yeah, I wish we played more of it. That's the only reason why it's high C is we only played it once. I was wondering where you, uh... You're in a crowd of NPCs. Yeah. yeah. I'll put that in. I had, we had, um, what made the video was my joke at the end when, uh, uh, Molly Mock shot Dr. Mango. And he screamed and ran away. And then Molly Mock's like, uh, I thought it was just a woman, but it was Mango. And then I said, um, that's Eric's uh, nightlife. He walks up to a girl in the bar, turns around, and it's Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's, uh, that made the whole video for me. Uh, so you, you would say B? Yeah. We'll put that at bottom, maybe. Okay. It could be high. We just we played it once. Yeah. Um... You watched me do Abzu. Shark yeah. Craft. I think that was a fair placement for it. That was the, the, the Shark Friend, yeah. Yeah. That's that's okay, yeah. Um Raft. I feel like it'd be higher if we actually beat the thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd keep it well I'd keep it in like second or something, I don't know. Second B. What do you mean second? Second of B. Second of B. Which is Sea of Thieves. Oh. I keep Sea of Thieves ahead of it then. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you can tell what game that was. <clears throat> yeah, Sea of Thieves. All of these are thumbnails from the chat. Okay. Uh, and then Labyrinthine. Too complicated for its own good, but a great time with friends. You haven't played it yet, but it looked fun. Yeah, like when I was editing that one video. Yeah, it's too complicated for its own good, but fun. Uh, I put Lunch Lady in A. I love Lunch Lady so much. Pretty good. Yes. It's got another simple. Map. I know. We need to play it. It's simple, but I love it. Yeah, that's it's fine there. And then I did G Mod Spooky Squad in A. Okay. I, I couldn't put it in S because you get some bad ones. I'm actually editing right now three subpar spooky maps. <laughs> You get some bad ones, but you get some gems. So top of A is where yeah. I put Gmod Spooky Squad. And then DDLC Plus and Skywalker Saga. Yeah. Uh, which brings us to The Sick Colleague. You remember that one? Is that the, the newer one with the, the that's, weird story? That's, that was part two, which did not 
get released on the channel, and we're not going to talk about part two. Oh, it didn't get released. No, I don't mind saying we played it, but if you have any idea what we're talking about, you'll know why we did not release that one on the channel. Um, I don't know if I played the first one, did I? You were with um Nick and Eric versus Cameron, Nolan, and Oh, that's the one that I cheated in, yeah. Yeah, you guys I really cheated. hated that. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking uh, mid C for me because it was just a run of the mill escape room, nothing special. What yeah. are you thinking? C is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm gonna put it below Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck is cool. Uno, you haven't played Uno. It's Uno. I mean, it's it's a good time waster. It's okay for content, and it's. Decently fun. It's like the perfect middle game. I feel like it's a high B or last place A. It looks good. Like I'm, the one with Nick. Oh. I'm just feeling mid B because it's like the okay. perfect middle game. Like it is a perfect time waster. It is so with high low that puts it somewhere around dinner with Nal. Definitely below Raph. I'd say above dinner with Nal. So right there. Human Fall Flat. You haven't got to play that one yet. I played with you guys. You did get to. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I knew. I didn't <laughs> need to bring it up. And Nick kicked you out and you couldn't rejoin. Because <laughs> you made a joke about it. <laughs> that was funny. It's a compliment, Jay. I, I would personally, I'd put Human Fall Flat in low A. But you only had such a small taste of it. I think it's good for A. It's good. I'm not going to put it above Terra Down, but it's pretty good. Um. I do. So that was Hunting Uganda Knuckles. I just don't remember if I was using that for all Gmod Sandbox or just for the mulch, because we did two Hunting Uganda Knuckles. So when he's invisible? No, it's when I was little Uganda Knuckles running around the map, and you guys had to hunt me down. Uh... That was funny. <laughs> that was one of the very first videos we ever did. I can't remember much to be able to judge. I'm going to say low B. Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> we were here. <clears throat> you played that one with Nolan. I don't know if you ever beat it. Yeah, Nick I and I. It. Nick and I did this one. We were here series was solid, and each one got better. I'm a no, not D. I'm gonna say we were here as a right below Riders Republic. Golf it. That's an A tier for me. Golf, it can be fun, it can be frustrating, it can be hilarious, it can be trolls, it can be cool. That's a high end. Yeah. yeah, I'm putting it like right below Spooky Squad. Where did it go? I'm putting it right below Spooky Squad. Like, I love Golf It. Prop Hunt. Huh. I'm thinking in between Spooky Squad and Golf It, to be honest, if not above Spooky Squad. Prop Hunt yeah. and Hide and Seek are. I would, you know what? I'm a, I'm a send it. Any complaints with that? I mean, uh, I guess I know. For I have a different standards for S. I put an A. Okay, why? It's, S has to be like a really good game. Like a first game. Have you ever had? Have you ever not had fun playing prop? Yes. All right. When? When. Uh, Tyler or someone would, uh, you know, getting instantly nuked. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> you guys do that to me a lot. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. People don't always listen to the... And it's not as grand scale as those top two games. Well, True. So, wh what do you think? Spooky Squad or Prop Hunt? You're, you're swaying my judgment. Huh. Uh, uh, no, I can't pass Spooky Squad. Okay. We were here too. Better than we were here one. Apex Legends, you played that more than I did. I got 14 hours into it. I got a win on it. I remember that first game. Oh, with Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I posted that whole round with no edits. Because it was the greatest round of all time. 3 minutes and 29 seconds. <laughs> so you got lodged in between. Yeah. I, I fell yeah. off the map. <laughs> Down, like down to the ground with like white, like a yeah, the void. <laughs> uh, I forgot how I died. I, I think he just got cut down. Cameron died two minutes later. 
That's hilarious. And you can see me, when watching it back, you can see me panic. Because I could have, like, grappled my way out if I reacted faster, but I was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I was panicked. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I can go to... What, does, what, what would you honestly put it at? Like, B. I, I was thinking C. Like, I enjoyed it, but I don't okay. plan on playing it again. Yeah. And it didn't do well enough to warrant me putting more time into it. Like, the videos. Because unless I really like the game... I'll only play it for the viewers, yeah. for them to enjoy. Last I see we have one B. viewer in chat for you to enjoy. Last place B. Okay, sure. Yeah. It just didn't do good enough for me to put more time into it. Uh, hide and seek, that's S tier for me. I adore hide and seek so much. I wish we played that all the freaking time. <laughs> really good, yes. I love it. I would put it above DDLC+. Plus. I probably, but it, no, I don't think it passed Skylar Sarah, but I'm going to leave it where it is. <laughs> Gartic Foam. That's an A tier game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think I'd put it over Human Fall Flat. How did Sea of Thieves get up there? <laughs> my mouse double clicking is funny. I would say in between Terra Down and Human Fall Flat for me. Would, so the one you've played on here is Lunch Lady. Would you put it over Lunch Lady? Yeah. Okay. Would you put it over Golfing? No. Okay, well then, in between Teardown and Lunch Lady is directly in the middle of what we was saying. Where did you come from, Tailspin? No, like, in between uh, Golfing and Lunch Lady. I, I really... My mouse is double-clicking still. It's so annoying. Um, that's not quite right. Something else went wrong here. What it was. Something else happened, because we were here, was on the same level. I don't know what got shifted. I think, I think Stick Fight got moved up. I think Stick Fight was there. Something like that. Yeah, I need a new mouse. Um... I'll, like, go around everything. So, Gartic Phone, right there, right there is the middle. Because I sit in between these. You sit in between those, so that's the middle. <laughs> mm. uh, King of Two Crowns. You didn't play King of Two Crowns. I know I played with Tyler. Yeah, but it was your fault. Solid game. Uh, I'd play it before I played Apex again. We were here together. Honestly, We Were Here 2 is almost better than Together. Together was almost a little too complicated, but it was still pretty cool. Let's talk about Secret Neighbor, shall we? <laughs> what? Spike so Steve. here's here's some behind-the-scenes lore for the Gmod squad. We got Secret Neighbor for a free weekend back near the start of the channel. We played it, and it was fun. And I enjoyed it. And I was like, I'm going to buy this game. You guys should buy it too, so we can play it more. Oh, uh, we don't want to buy it. They went and bought it, didn't tell me, and played it till they got bored of it. So I've still only played it once. Is that really what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I liked the game. I only played it once. I'm going to put it at the top of C. And I don't care what you say, because you... It's three. <laughs> Pico Park. I love Pico that's Park. That's good. That's an A. Yeah, that's an A. I would say in between Gartic and Lunch Lady. What do you think? Uh, below Gartic phone. Below Gartic? Alright, we'll put it... No. No. Come back here. We'll put it right there then. I get these nice Transformers ads. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Arc. Now we've not played Arc together on the channel, but we both, both played, played it. B. No, I'm kidding. B. Solid B. I was thinking C. It definitely doesn't deserve D. Like, no. For as frustrating as it is, it is still like a playable game. Yeah. I don't know if anything's gonna end up down there or not. It might, but there I will be something. <laughs> It's your goal. There will be something. Yeah. Um. Well, I would play Ark before I played 
Apex again. Does that work for you? Art is just such a good game. It's huge. You could have a little bit of more. Okay. Uh, how how high you want it? Well, where would you put? Let me go in and put. Maybe above one of those uh, three Chip and Dale games. Uh, the two Chip and Dale games. Dude. <laughs> uh, the two of us. That's one Nick and I played. Not bad. Uh, not bad. Just put it down there. Battlefront? Uh, it's coming. <laughs> That next one, or what is it? That's Cluster Truck. And I'm not going to say anything. Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Why is it D? Uh, Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. So that was the first like solo series on the channel. I never finished it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna slot that in there. Jedi Knight Jedi Academy is <laughs> a solo game. I don't know why I'm asking you. It was really good. I'm uh. It was an older game. I'm gonna put it at the top of B. It was really story is why it gets so high. Gameplay, it played like a uh, a Steam port of an older game. <laughs> it plays, but it played better than Tomb Raider games. Scriblio. Age old question. Scriblio or Gartic Phone? Gartic over Scriblio. So where would you put Scriblio? Uh, just below Pico Park. I agree. I'm good with that. Grounded. We I didn't... played together. Yeah, but we didn't play on. We video. couldn't play together. I got it's three. Cool game. I got three videos out of it. Um, I didn't. I I feel like I don't need to return to it. I feel like I had my fun. In those three videos, what are your thoughts on it? It's a cool game. It is cool. I'll put it higher. So where would you put it? Strong D, but where you see fits. See, I was thinking C. So you got to be more specific so we can cut the difference here. Uh, I was thinking under raft. Under raft. I was thinking C. So in between all that is a... under arc. Would be precisely in the middle. Overcooked 2. You didn't get to play that one, did you? No, you didn't. I wish that those videos did better. Because those are five of the funniest videos I have ever made in my life. It was hysterical. One game, though. Oh, it's a. crazy. I would put it A2. I just wish the views were there. Because those videos deserved everything. One guy watching us here and whoever watches this later as a bot on YouTube. If you haven't seen the Overcooked 2 videos, watch them. They are hilarious. They are so funny. I cannot say it enough. I, bottom A work for you? Yeah. Where is Ann coming with me? Woo! Bottom. Mm. What do you want? There we go. Oh. Among us. I mean, like, I feel like that's gotta be S, right? I got very boring after a while. Yeah, but after how long? Like, I'm, I won't deny it got oversaturated, but think about how much we got out of it. Yeah. Maybe. Are, we, are we, like, ranking them out of what we got out of it, or how good the game is? All was? factors. <laughs> okay. Okay, where would you put it? I'm I'm thinking A. A. I would put it. I'd put it in between Teardown and Scriblio. Yeah, where would you put it? I would put it much higher. I know I said S, but that was me misreading what you were thinking. If you said S, I wasn't going to question it. Because you know what? 
that we can't talk about on stream. Stay tuned for that. I guess you can say that. Well, no, that, I wasn't going to complain if you said that. Um, just over golf it. Okay, up there, right? That's the how much you did. We got a lot out of it. <laughs> well, and it's... It's not, it's not where I'm taking it, that's the problem. It's you the got it over, though. <laughs> I know, that's the annoying part. <laughs> um... Yeah, we got a lot out of it, and hopefully it's the, the game that keeps on giving. Stay tuned for that. Anne was cool. Did you watch my stream of Anne? It was the RPG Horror Maker game. I remember being there for it. Yeah, you, you watched the, the Twitch stream on it. It was a cool game. Because <laughs> the first part of it was a YouTube video, and then I finished it on stream. Anne was like, Diet E. And I cannot give enough praise to Eve. I don't know if you watched my Eve series, but it is probably my favorite horror game ever. It is so cool. And Anne was very much Eve-inspired. Um, darker than Eve. The content matter is not for the faint of heart. Much like DDLC. I would put it in mid-B. And since you didn't play it, I can. I have license to do this. I would put it above the We Were Here saga. Those two got swapped. The Odyssey of the Mammoth, which the final part of is doing really well a the year look, later. I can only judge it by its looks. I've seen it, so it's. Yeah, whatever you put it with. It's Mammoth. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> I, I would. <sighs> I'm gonna low B this one. The it won't let you go through there. I have like a mild vendetta against the game. That the final achievement in the game is broken. I'm an achievement hunter. I've said that many times now on recordings and streams. The final achievement is broken. And the developer just moved on, never fixed it. So I'll it will always be fourteen out of fifteen. Which is annoying. Hmm. But it is a good game. Um, Battlegrounds got moved up early because of my stupid double-clicking Darkwing Duck was there, I think. Tales of Escape, that was the, um, Escape the Room series with Princey and Tyler Defined. Tales of Escape was really good escape rooms. I'm going to... Top of B, Tales of Escape. Rough Night of the Gallery was really cute. I don't know if you watched that one. That was an early video. That was a uh, dog horror game. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. But it was cute. I've seen you play it. Was... It was cute. I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> put it in E if there was an option. Minecraft is S. It's Minecraft. I was going to put E. Nah. I'm <laughs> kidding. Yeah, it's S, yeah. I wouldn't put it above the other games that are... We were here. You wouldn't? No, I wouldn't. There's a lot of... Oh, I just here. Alright, alright. Uh, let's talk about it. I'd put it above Doki and that other one there. What's that one with the... Skywalker Saga? Oh, Hide and Seek. And Skywalker. Skywalker was a good big game, but there was a lot of flaws. Name one. Well, lack of detail with, like, some of the backgrounds on the map. I'd have to pull one up, but there's just some stuff lacking. There was only one thing lacking. Having actually played the game. The force controls were a little I played odd it. at times. When did you play it? Nick did a Steam share thing with me and we both played it on Twitch. Although I kept telling him but <laughs> So you're saying top of S, I'm saying bottom of S. Which lands it right there. <laughs> yep, first. <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's fair. The reason why I'm not going higher with it is you losers don't stick with the game. That's me. You as well. Ow. You were helping me with Centauri until you put up a wall 
and then you never logged in again, and I finished it by myself. Never asked. <laughs> you never you asked. volunteered. I put a wall. <laughs> and you're like, I'll do the parapets next time. What's a parapet? The tower's on the edge of the wall. Oh, yeah. You're like, I'll do that next time, and you never did. No, I didn't. Same thing goes with Tyler, who I've played with. You guys don't finish crap. Like, I love building, and I keep going, but eventually I'm just playing Minecraft alone again. Which is what's happening now. Well, is that, like, two months, but three months break, and then the two weeks of constant playing it? Yeah, you guys are weird. <laughs> I'm not into it anymore. <laughs> uh, Battlegrounds. Right. <laughs> Not my type of game. A good game, but it's really not my type. I, I imagine it's a pretty good version of the type of game it is. It seemed very well balanced, but it's just not my type of game. If it weren't for the IP, I wouldn't have played it. Death Run. I'm interested in your thoughts on Death Run. So I, I'm going to go on a rant about it in a minute. I'd put it below... I'll put it in between Darthic and Tifa. That's right. And see. What what grew my love for it was watching the, the Van Oscars play it. Well, that's the thing. Here's my rant. Death Run, in Van Oss's videos, and on paper, is a great way to get content. But, these turbo nerds do not cooperate to save their lives. Yeah, it's stupid. You as well. What did I do? You, Nick, Nick. Nolan, Raz, and Eric, I had to fight with to get those videos done. Every time we recorded one, I was reminded why it had been so long since we played it last time. <laughs> Every single what did we do? time. Killing each other. Breaking the rules, arguing, goofing off, spawning things, running ahead, cheating traps, triggering traps multiple <laughs> times. That's like eight things already. <laughs> it's funny to you guys, but it's not good content. You're just ruining it. I was going to put it in low B. You say mid A, which puts it high B. You're only hating it because of your experience with it, but you have to think of it. <laughs> That's what we're <laughs> ranking! No, no, no. You we're not ranking think... how good the concept is. You have to rank it based on how good of an idea it is, how cool it is. If you guys cooperate with me, it could be A tier content. It is it A tier. It ain't. <laughs> That's so gonna land it in high B. Stick it in between the water based games there. I feel like Spooky Squad should be an S because it's a whole thing. But sometimes you get bad. Well, like I really want that one. Like that's why I put it at top of A, is sometimes you get bad maps, sometimes you get gems. And we do our best to make sure that you, our dear viewers, only see the best parts. But there are times where it's only our own commentary that makes up for the map's lack of anything. <laughs> Is hide and seek this one in second on A? Uh, hide and seek? fourth. Oh, A. Oh, hide seek's at, okay. I would put G2 GTFO on, uh, in between the Frost Hunt tournament. Or Undergolf. You didn't want to play it again. <laughs> yeah, but playing it, it was fun. Okay. I was going to put it low B. Because um, we were both just like, we don't need to play it again. Um, so it's another one that's well, ending up. I just want to complain with how gory it was. But overall, it was fun. It was a fun idea and whatnot. I just... <laughs> That's that's literally how I'm ranking the game. Not not being a hundred percent 
<laughs> well, that's gonna land it um probably in between labyrinthine and sea of thieves secret neighbor go away did it go it's in the so you gotta bring it around hey my mouse okay let's switch my mouse I don't have one to switch to. <laughs> no spare? A spare one's broke. <laughs> uh, so there's our next duplicate. Yeah. Banish it. Getting over it. I don't care. Let's go in there. C. Nah. <laughs> hey, we have to meet in the middle. Nah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you rage quit so hard when you were playing it. <laughs> that game sucks. <laughs> Lego The Incredibles was, quite frankly, incredible. That's definitely an A tier for me. If you haven't played it, I'm a... If, if I had played it with someone, probably S tier. Because I love the co-op in Lego games. But since I played it alone, I'm going to put it below Scriblio. Which is a nice, fun multiplayer game experience. I got a couple of my solo outings up there. Eraser. You played that once. Dr. Mango is the king of Eraser. Excuse me at first. Yep. He didn't play at first. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he played, he, he beat it. Like, it. It was funny because... It's you're fun. good at dick games. <laughs> it's fun watching Nick not figure out that you have to charge your jump. <laughs> seeing him yeah. fail was funny until he got good at the game the game became boring okay <laughs> so where would you put it b really i was thinking c c yeah c c because it's it's nothing special yeah yeah good good c it, it's definitely something that speedrunners could have a field day with there are many ways to like exploit it and cheese it without actually like going into the game files but I would I would put it above six seasons in a game, but below Secret Neighbor. Stick fight duplicated. Uh, classic Battlefront two. I don't think you've played that one with me, have you? Not with you. Just the new one, and I, I don't even think you played that with me. But it's iconic. I'm thinking a. Even though it's not, maybe B simply because, don't crucify me, B because of the Steam optimization is not great. Like classic console, Xbox uh, Xbox Battlefront 2, probably S tier. Back on the actual home console, but the Steam port is not great. Uh, the AI runs into walls instead of playing the game 9 times out of 10. And um, you get disconnected really easily. It's a Steam port of an older game. They're very hit or miss. What are you thinking? B. B. Where are you thinking in B? I never really had fun playing it because it was just so oh, really? old. Oh. It's just not as good as the new game. Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of hardcore Starburst fans are like, ooh, the old ones are better. There's some good and bad things, but... On the original console... Classic Battlefront 2 is the Probably best wins, game. Yeah. But, on the PC, new Battlefront 2 is the best, in my opinion. Playing it is just so you rewarding. Well, it's just with this one, like, the PC port is not as good as Classic Console. Um, it's still iconic. I would put it... Well, if you're just letting me take the room. Yeah, I'm going to put it above Academy. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Escape Together. Hey. hey. Yeah. We still have to beat that game. Yeah. I would put it bottom, hey. What are you thinking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Nah. I'll put it above Teardown. Above Teardown? So that's going to put incredible. it... Above Incredible? Yeah. Exactly. So that's going to put it in between Teardown and Human Fall for me. Any objections? Like, obviously, it's not... Precisely where you want it, but uh, escape first. I think that's escape first one. Is there escape first two? Uh, more of the escape the room series. I missed that series. It was such a good time. 
Can we scroll down? Let me see all the stuff we gotta rank. Uh, a lot of it's duplicated. Like, we're, we are running out of things to rank. A lot of it is duplicated. But there are okay. some things all the way down that are new. Yeah. We'll just have to pay attention. Yeah, don't ask me how it happened. This website isn't the best, but it's the only one that let me do it without having a Facebook account. I don't have Facebook. And it's like, to use this better website, get out your Facebook account. What if you don't have one? Sucks to be you. You don't have Facebook? No, I'm not 90. Everyone has it now these days, man. What are you doing? Not on Facebook, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Way back then to, like, save your, like, mobile game progress. No. Nah, I've never had Facebook. I've never posted it. Well, I don't know if I have. <laughs> Time to look them up. This is darnell.darnell at darnell.com. Look that up. It's not going to take you anywhere. <laughs> yeah, defensive, are we? I miss gaming with Richie. He's still part of the squad, don't get me wrong. He's just very busy. <laughs> and usually not free. And I miss gaming with Richie. And that's... The Escape series was really just him and me for most of it, and Tyler occasionally. It was awesome. <laughs> He's so naturally fun. I, I loved recording with him, and I can't wait for him to have free time again. Someday. No. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. You know, let's break up the We Were Here games. Let's just slot them. That's S tier follow order. A for me. A for you. Where would you put it in A? Uh, I know you're not gonna like it, but it's gonna be pretty low because nothing for me, like those kind of solo games, can't beat those games that you can play with your friends, like those group games. I wouldn't know. My friends don't play games anymore and make it a point to tell me that every time they see me. Well, back then, we have proof so I could base my knowledge <laughs> off of that. I mean, if we were to do a group thing, that's to get people like, it's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my fault <laughs> that I can't get a group of people to play. <laughs> so where are you putting it? I, it's it would be a top best for me. Uh, above, like, next to Pico Park, to the right. Next to Pico? Park, like, two, three, four. Ten. So it's going to be five off. One, two, three, four, five. Not you. Go away. We don't talk about that. So that settles there. For me personally, that's probably my second favorite game of all time. Escape first two. Again, just gonna break up the We Were Here series. He needs to mess again. Ultimate Custom Night. What did you think of that one? A. So where would you put it in there? Um. <laughs> Probably above next to Pico Park, the right. Yeah, Pico Park. Where would you put it? Probably. I was probably feeling bottom of A. So that's gonna settle it above Escape together. Okay. Golf with your friends. You weren't available that weekend when we got to play that one. It is so inferior to Golf Pit. It had some cool gimmicks, but it was so inferior to Golf, which is why we haven't changed from Golf It to Golf With Your Friends. Um, still a good golf game, but... Hog Hunt. And I already have that one on here. That was my first one to go showdown of three times now at Buffalo, New York. It's funny that it just keeps happening. It's a rivalry of Watch Mojo Top 10 rivals in it, rivalries in anime. Gaston versus the Wendigo. Tomb Raider 3. D. I haven't finished it yet. Did you play 3 with me? I don't think so. No, just I 2. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, anniversary was great because it was optimized. <laughs> Two and three were not optimized. <laughs> they are so hard to play. I will probably finish Tomb Raider 3 at some point. Probably. It's so hard to play them. <laughs> Civ 6, another one that you guys just refused to finish. Make going in the world. Uh huh. Honestly, Civ's a B for me. Yeah. Where would you put it in that massive B? What do you think? I was thinking, uh. I'm under think... Raft. Definitely under Raft. But I, I think that's actually a very fair place to put it in between Raft and Uno. Mm -hmm. I agree. Gotcha. Didn't look now. It's a good spot. Didn't look now. It's back again. Where did you sneak off to right there? Mm -hmm. Dinner with an Owl is actually such a cool game. That's why it's rated pretty highly. Another stick fight. Monster Hunter World. That Chun Li video. If all the videos did that good, dear lord, we'd be famous by now. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a really that's a cool game. It was a cool game. Got it back. Uh, hey, hey, wearing it. Uh, for the right of Pico Park. <laughs> you just really want to put stuff in between Pico Park and Scribbly, how? Eh? Oh, yeah. Actually, hold your horses in the middle of Garden Clone and Pico Park. That's what I see. That's what you see. I was thinking in B. Probably high B. So, we'll do... We have enough in B. We'll do Bottom of A. Hello, Riders Republic. How does that make any sense? Uh, Riders Republic is now at... There, I'm pretty sure. Was GTFO there? Yeah. Yeah. DDLC. As Slan Uncovered. Pretty cool indie game. Not gonna lie, it was pretty neat. I had fun with it. DuckTales 2. Did that one get in there? It's Chippendale 2. DuckTales 2 is the best one in the collection. And I see DuckTales 1. So I'm going to put DuckTales 2 right above DuckTales 1. Let's see, we got all those. Escape First 3. That one had like the scary map, the abandoned school. That was pretty neat. Fall Guys, we you we only played that one once. I wanted to play it more. I liked it. I thought it was cool. I was I'm thinking B. Yeah. Where are you thinking in B? Um uh, just thinking a little bit of the game. Hey, I didn't think you wanted to play it again. I think B too, yeah, B. So where, where in B? Uh, I was thinking I in, in B, what were you thinking? I would put it, I would play it before I play GTFO again. I'd probably put it, probably, put it right there. That's where I put it in between Academy and GTFO. I liked it. I put it under Raft. Under Raft. So cutting the difference there is in between Sea of Thieves and Death Run. There we go. Do, 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 do. Genshin Impact. I wanted to like Genshin. And when I posted my first Genshin video, the the 
viewers in the comments were like, hey, welcome to Genshin. And it's like, oh, it doesn't matter if it's not the most amazing game in the world. People are going to enjoy watching, get to build a community, and then nobody talked for the rest of the Genshin series. <laughs> See. Yeah, I'm... I'm That's not weird people who play it. <sighs> Money spenders. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Hard game. Mm. Very hard. Really cool. Where do you see that? Right there. Oh, you skipped over it. Yeah. Yeah, those are all duplicated. Well, I'm going to put it bottom of B. It was very hard. And it's just weird to think that that's, that's how hard games used to be. <laughs> they used to be nightmarish. <laughs> Portal 2. We've only done the co op thus far. I mean, it's got to be A. Yeah. That was pretty darn special. I would put it right there. Yeah. Um, The Experiment Escape Room. I don't think I've seen that one on here. No. Um, Lower level Escape Room. Better than Sick Colleague. Still a pretty good escape room, though. Escape 2088. No bottom of B. Okay. Almost done here, I think. Destiny 2. I am interested to see where you put this, because every time we went to play, we played for like a week, and then you just leave the game and never told me you did. I'm giving you, my dear viewers, a taste of what it's like trying to play with this man. <laughs> An S, because clearly me deleting it, I... Uh, That's why I'm interested in what you B. said. B? I'm, well, I can agree with B. Yeah. Where in B? I put it above Apex, for sure. Somewhere in the middle. Okay. okay. Well, I'm going to drop it below Labyrinthine, then. Because I would rather... There's, like, two maps I still have to beat my lap. Uh, Untitled Goose Game. That was a cool game. It was awesome. I wish I could have convinced someone else to buy it so we could do the co-op. Um, it was so innocent. Like, you're doing mean things, but it's a goose. I remember, did I tell you about the comment I got on a video? So I tripped the, the boy. I untied his shoelace and scared him, and he tripped. And I got a comment, like, that's not very nice. And I was like, you're right. From a human perspective, it's not very nice. But this is a goose. And a goose does not adhere to human norms. It is a goose. And living in Canada, goose will F you up if you mess with a goose. You do not mess with a goose. I'm going to put it bottom of A. Not you, Death Run. Where did Goose go? <laughs> and what are you throwing on the floor? <laughs> I don't know. I was shocked that you was a tooth. A tooth? <laughs> Where did Goose go? Hold on a minute. You have banished the goose to oblivion. Seriously, where the, where the heck did it go? It's probably not on there anymore. <laughs> it got deleted. Anyways, you can do, do you really imagine. Do you really not see it? It was like. blue. Oh, oh, it's over here. Okay, oh, that was weird. <laughs> Tower of Fantasy. Ah, uh, the character creator was nice, but it was not as polished as Genshin. It's Genshin's biggest competitor too. Escape Simulator, really cute. Um. Whereas the Tales of Escape and Escape First was like dark and gritty, Escape Simulator was really cute. Lots of fun. Lots of potential. I wish we played more of it. 
Valet Procyon. That was... Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet, yeah. So, that's a very special game for me. Um, because it spawned the creation of the very first special project on the channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Treasure Planet was a Disney movie from 2002. Uh, very underrated. It was a commercial failure, but a critical hit. And it has developed a big following since its release. Uh, you can keep watching on Disney+. Plus. Um, and the game, Battle of Procyon, was a sequel to the story. Um, and the plot was so good that I took my seven-ish hour Let's Play of Battle at Procyon and edited it into a just under two hour sequel. Cutting out like my intros and gameplay things and just streamlining the story. While I am still talking because it was a Let's Play, it is focused on delivering the story of Battle at Procyon as a sequel to Treasure Planet. You can find that on Gmod Squad. It's actually um just in the last little bit, it's got a lot more views. When I when I stopped, because I, I like I pay attention to a video for about two weeks after it's released, and it was at like eighty something, which I'm like, that's great, that's a good video. It's at two hundred something right now. It's gotten more traction. Yeah. So please blow that one up. If you're gonna blow up anything, blow up the special project. It had a lot of fun editing. It was very unique. Blow that one up if you're gonna blow up one. We don't need to blow up Lightning Storm again. Brings us to Hollow Fragment. See, here's the thing. I really like it. It's cool. I've never played. It, the genre is called a JRPG, uh, Japanese RPG. Never played one before. They're long as heck, apparently. This one is too. The combat is not as engaging as I would have hoped. And I hope that the sequels, because I do have all of the Sword Art games, do it better. Which I think, based on reviews, they do. I want to love it. But I think I just like it. <laughs> I like the game. I like the IP. I want to love it, but that's just not quite the relationship we have. I'll put it at the top of B. Uh, which brings us to Battlefront 2. Battlefront 2. What, what are you thinking for Battlefront 2? Well, e, 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 e. It's a solid A, a high A. I don't know about you. I'm in agreement. Okay. And that's another one that if you had said S, I wouldn't have questioned. Um, What are you thinking? In between these two? Uh, Spooky Squad and Crawford. Yeah. There's a lot you can do with it. I enjoy I love physics. Like, I just released one today. Uh, for the Empire. Jerry of Dom and Gaston join the Empire. Do a whole bunch of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And in this case, a whole bunch of stuff is Nick's computer crashing. And me kicking butt as Darth Maul on Hoth with the Empire. I love editing those videos. They're so much fun to edit. But they will make me no money because of the copyright music. Every single Battlefront video is copyright claimed. Because it's all Star Wars music. Yeah. Um, Subnautica, tell me about it, mister. I'll do this Let's Play series where he does one episode. Yeah. Uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean... All right, uh, I gotta explain to my viewers why I'm like the only person on the Gmod Squad channel anymore. So what do you think? I've never played Subnautica. I have no comment to give. Other than it looks cool. It's a cool game. It's, I think it's an S. Really? Because it it nailed what it was trying to do and it was the fear of the unknown like i wouldn't put it in i wouldn't put it ahead of the other games in the thing but i would land at a spot in last s because i i, 
I've seen a bunch of videos on it and whatnot, and a lot of reviews and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I can't refute it, so. Excuse me. Oh, I hate it. I've been trying to put off getting a mouse for so long. It's getting to the point where it's not worth it. Is that right? No, that is. Subnautica. Uh, don't forget Hugh. That was an indie horror game I played earlier this year. Really cool concept. That was the one, I don't know if you watched it, but that was the one where you have three lenses, and with each lens you can see a different dimension. That's cool. It was really cool. It was a short indie horror game. I won't forget Hugh. Um... Color cues is the, the reference. And you can mix and match the lenses to see extra things like obstacles, monsters. Um, it was really neat. Um, it was an indie free game on Steam, so it is not polished whatsoever. But in a way that made it more endearing that it wasn't polished. I definitely put it above Hog Hunter. Probably right there. Brings us to Locked. So that was a fascinating game. Uh, I did three weeks of indie free Steam games in a row. I won't forget Hugh, Locked, and Stuart the Fox. And Locked was like a visual novel about a thought experiment. About existentialism. Are your choices ever your own? Um, it was one of the most thought-provoking games I've ever experienced. Very simple. Really, really interesting. And I do believe it was the best of the three that I played in those three weeks. It was fascinating. I'm going to put it above Dinner with an Owl, below Uno, at Battlegrounds. It was fascinating. Stuart the Fox was a platformer. It was really cute. The um, the developer watched the video and commented on it that he's making the sequel. Um, it was probably the weakest of the three, but it was still a cute little platformer. Um, just saying it's weakest three. I'm not like saying his game's garbage. It was it was cute. I would put it top of C at Battlegrounds. Okay, nearing the end uh, for sure now. Tomb Raider Anniversary, Tomb Raider 2, Eve. I see those for sure. Let's send them. there anything else down here? I don't know why so many things duplicate. It's very annoying. Um, just double checking. Thinking through what we have judged and experienced. Oh, I thought we had a ton left, but it's... No, we got three. Three left. So we're going to do the Tomb Raiders, and then last. And then we'll mention the three that have come since Eve. You did the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 2 is better than Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider Anniversary. I liked it. It was fun. Hard. But it was fun. I didn't need to look up guides for puzzle navigation like I did for 2 or 3. It wasn't as dauntingly unbeatable. So I'm going to put it in between Ducktales. In between Ducktales. Ebe. Ebe's a special game. 
it is gone. There it is. Eve is a very special game. But it that's probably that was in between there. Where did Eve go? There's Eve. That's still proper. is really special. I have no idea what it is about. It's, uh, it's special. <laughs> it's So you know how we watched The Crooked Man by Markiplier? So it's an RPG horror Same game. Same style like that. Yeah, like a top-down RPG. But Eve... Eve's the one that redefines that genre. With a compelling story with really incredible plot twists. And what I got to play was the Steam release of it. I got to play the original version. But the Steam release was like a remake with new information, new puzzles, new answers, new solutions. And that was really neat. So then the three games since is Dino Punk, which was that visual novel dinosaur game, which was really, really weird, but first video did really well and the others didn't do badly it was longer free steam game there's a full version of it out now that i may or may not get at some point i don't know i would put it somewhere in b not gonna get too fancy with the ones that i don't have pictures for the other one is portal which is definitely uh a i would put it probably below portal 2 above overcooked uh, Portal 1 probably would have been a lot harder if we hadn't played that co-op before. Because uh, uh, mm-hmm. I I wasn't inexperienced with Portal. And Jedi Survivor is top of this tier for me. A Jedi Survivor I would agree with S. It's, Even though I put Fallen Order in A, Survivor's. It's wild. <laughs> so there you have it. There's the tier list... We've played a lot of games on this channel. <laughs> Those are new now. Oh, it is. Are they? Yeah, I went, I went through all of the videos, making sure I got them all. I think that's done there. Okay, yeah. Oh, Gmod Spooky Squad covers like 139 videos. Yeah. So that's it. That's the list. Um, so it's a shorter stream today, as you probably could tell, I am sick. I've been coughing and my voice is rough and rugged. We, we finished it at basically an hour. Yeah, makes it nice and easy. So thank you, our one viewer, for tuning in. I always tend to get one on Twitch, so I thank you for that. Appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this as a VOD on YouTube and you're hearing this message, thanks for sticking to the end. It really does mean a lot. Like, comment, and subscribe, all those fun things. I'll be streaming the next episode of Jedi Survivor. The plan is Thursday on YouTube, where I'm going to try and finish some things on Kobo before headed to Jedi, because I beat the final boss and the game didn't end, so I'm in danger, <laughs> is basically what that means. Uh, so thank you once again, everybody. Bye for now. See ya.